Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome. Welcome to Hitchin Boys. Um, welcome to year five and six students. Thanks for bringing your parents along. Um, the talk is mostly for you, but we may have a little side bar that's interesting for the parents as well. But ultimately, if you want to come to this school, you're part of that decision-making process. So we hope to make it appeal uh, to you as it's, it's your choice uh, to come here. Um, I'm incredibly proud of this school, so I want to tell you a little bit of why I am so proud of it. Um, when I came here, I tried to think about what makes Hitchin Boys School distinctive. Why? Why come to Hitchin Boys School ahead of others? And I tried to categorize it into two kind of broad categories. So first is about learning and the second is about life. And we give them equal weight here. Some schools may give more on one versus the other, but it feels important to us that we do both. So uh, if you come to Hitchin Boys, you'll receive first and foremost an outstanding academic education. Um, We've got an incredible group of teachers. They're passionate about their subjects. Uh, they're experts in their field. Uh, they'll make learning interesting, challenging, and fun. Um, we've got a long history of excellent exam results. We'll talk a little bit more about those later. Uh, and uh, we've got that uh, support that you need for accessing the next step beyond school. I know that might seem like years away, but at some point, believe it or not, you will leave secondary school. You'll be an adult. And part of what we do at Hitchin Boys is to make sure that you find the right destination for you, whatever that might be. Um, in terms of life, uh, we've got incredible opportunities, and I know you probably want to hear much more about sports and the arts and, uh, and creative things, uh, but also we want to reassure you that we've got people here that care. We've got our team of form tutors, so every student that joins Year 7 will have their own form tutor that will be their go-to person, but also we've got our pastoral support workers and our care uh, people that work in, in other support areas to help. Um, Dispelling some myths about what an old boys school might be like, uh, we are a safe environment, we've got excellent standards of behaviour, we've got high expectations, um, and we also have a sense of community built upon our shared values. I'll talk a little bit more about those in a few minutes' time. Um, so by the time you leave Hitchin Boys, we want you to be the best educated young person you can be, and with the confidence and uh, the strength of character to face the challenges that the adult world will, will throw your way. Um, a little bit about uh, the history of the school. So uh, we are nearly 400 years old. So um, it does stun me to think that this school was around uh, before the Pilgrim Fathers sailed on the Mayflower to America and well over 100 years before Captain Cook uh, sailed to Australia. So we've got an incredible history and tradition. Uh, so John Mattock founded the school in 1639 was when it opened and the grammar school wall building at the front dates from 1889. The whole year in at the moment is from the 1930s. Um, but we have invested quite a lot in the school over the years. You'll hopefully have seen or will see on the tour uh, the new buildings that we're very proud of, the performing arts block, the junior block where the year sevens uh, are based with their form, and also things like the new fitness suite that we installed just this summer. Um, we do work uh, closely with Hitchin Girls School and the primary school as well in the sixth form, uh, where you've got the opportunity to have lessons across all three schools when you get there. So in summary, we've got a, a long and proud history and tradition, but we're not afraid to be modern and forward-looking as well. Uh, our motto is, uh, in Latin, is per ardu ad alte. What does that mean? It means striving for excellence. It means aiming high. It means uh, trying hard in your academic subjects, but it also means uh, being a safe place to take risks, trying new things, fail now and again, that's okay, because we pick you up and set you going again. Um, the best learning happens through failure, and at school is a safe place to be able to do that. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the, the more recent exam results in a few minutes' time. Um, something that I was quite passionate about, this is my third year of headship at Hitchin Boys, uh, was this idea of values and coming up with a set of shared uh, descriptions about how we behave and what we want to be. And many of you who are primary school, probably you've got your set of words and your values that you talk about all the time. Um, I talk about these all the time. Uh, there are six that we came up with as a whole school community, so parents, students, uh, staff. Um, three are about how you manage yourself and their ambition, responsibility, and resilience. We want you to aim high. We want you to set no limits. We want you to take ownership for your own learning and behavior. And we want you to develop uh, your confidence uh, and tell us if you need help with your physical health or your mental health. Uh, but there are three about how we interact with others, and we talk all the time about respect, teamwork, and kindness. Um, so we value diversity and different views. Uh, we do have uh, a, an environment where we learn collaboratively, we work together, we solve problems together, and we demonstrate humility, positivity, and kindness. Um, one that's probably more for the parents is, uh, well, what am I going to get in terms of uh, exam results at, at school? Because that's one measure of uh, preparing you for future life. Um, 
this year we were very proud of our results. So the summer term saw uh, public exams return for the first time in two years. And over a third of all of our grades at both A-level and GCSE were A or higher, so grade 9 to 7 or grade A or A star. But probably more importantly, 92% of all exams entered were at a pass, so a grade C to A or a grade 4 as it is in, in new money. Um, and that means there's not just a small number of elite students that are uh, doing exceptionally well, it's every student doing well, and every student succeeding and getting to what that next step might be. Um, and they do better than their peers in, uh, in other schools nationally. So. Um, Really, it's about uh, that uh, consistency year on year as well. So this isn't just one set of results. Uh, Hitchin Boys School for many decades has had uh, outstanding set of results. This time last year, I was a very tired person because Ofsted were in. And uh, we just had day one Ofsted, then I did open evening, then we did day two. Um, I'm not going to read the quotes in there, but I'm exceptionally proud of that report. Uh, the inspectors talked not only about what they saw in terms of the academic excellence uh, and the, the quality of teaching and learning, but actually about the conduct of the boys and the behaviour and the safe and calm environment uh, that we foster here. So um, our values shone through um, and yeah, I would encourage you to read that short report. It's only a few pages long, but it's certainly something that I'm incredibly proud of. Right, probably what the year five and six is want to know more about. What about the clubs? What about the trips? What about the activities? Uh, we've got loads of all of those. Uh, so we've got a huge variety of opportunities available to you at Hitchin Boys School. So everything from uh, Scrabble and Book Club to Warhammer and the library and sports teams and music. And some of our students will talk to you a bit about their experience of, of clubs at the school. Um, we're also incredibly proud of our P department. I know a lot of uh, boys are motivated by uh, the idea of, of sport. Uh, we've got a state-of-the-art set of facilities here. So from the, the sports center that you may have seen at the front right through to uh, the Astro and the tennis center and the fitness suite that we've installed this summer. Um, but we, we try to do both things. You maybe saw last year that we were uh, national VAS champions in rugby at under 15. So we took almost the whole school to Twickenham. Uh, it was an amazing day out. Uh, for a state school to, to be champions is unusual. And we also uh, were uh, finalists in under 18s hockey. Uh, we beat Eton College 3-0 along the way, which I'm quite proud of. Um, but we do compete at the elite level, both uh, locally and nationally. Um, but also it's about inclusion. So we, we often have uh, five to 600 students each year represent the school in, in some sport. And each weekend we turn out uh, A teams, B teams, and sometimes C teams and D teams. And students participate, not just uh, you know a small elite, but mass participation. So well, Friday's recently the year seven, we've had uh, more than 90 students do rugby training. We've had nearly 100 students do football training. So we've had almost the whole year group out doing one or the other after school on a Friday. Um, so really that's something that's important. It's not just a kind of elite, but it's about uh, opportunities for all. Um, trips is something that's come back, uh, you know, starting to come back strongly after COVID, after a few years where we couldn't do the same things. So we do have curriculum link trips, so things like biology field trips, geography field trips will, will always happen. But we've also got opportunities to, to spread wings more widely. So. Uh, we've got a sports tour going to America uh, in the near future. Uh, I was recently with year 9 and 10 on a geography trip to Costa Rica. We've got an Iceland trip going out in October. Uh, we've got a history trip to Berlin coming up. So we've got lots of things that happen, opportunities uh, to learn um, it more widely. Um, outdoor education is important to us too. So our Duke of Edinburgh Award is one of the biggest uh, locally. So in year 10, uh, many, many students uh, uh, undertake the bronze award and develop their skills in volunteering as well as uh, the, the, the camping part, which is what they all really enjoy. Then finally, the arts. Uh, we're, we're super proud of uh, the offer that we have around uh, the arts at this school. Um, we've got over 17 different music ensembles to, to take uh, part in everything from uh, rock club all the way down to uh, chamber orchestra and uh, we've got three choirs as well. Um, We've got huge opportunities uh, to be creative in the wider field and art and photography clubs, uh, all the way down to uh, our Arts Week, where there are lots of uh, productions going on. And I know Zach will tell you a little bit about the whole school production uh, coming up. Um, this is West End levels of quality, where we often have more than 200 students taking part. Uh, the house system is also an important part of our culture. So uh, when you join us, you join one of four houses. Uh, unfortunately, it's not organized via the sorting hat, but if you want to think that, you can. Um, but everything you do in school will be arranged to earn you those merit points that go towards the house competition. At the end of the year, the house winner is declared. Uh, it's not just about sport, it's about the maths competition, it's about spelling competitions, it's photography, it's science, it's lots of different house competitions, house events during the year. Um, 
we mentioned clubs. Uh, again, uh, this is a, a, something I'm particularly proud of that um, when I counted for the autumn term, we've got more than 80 options available to uh, young people. Uh, they are um, free of charge as well, so for school, lunchtime, after school. Uh, there'll be something there for everybody and to try new things. Um, yeah, if, if I ever go into the library after school and see Dungeons and Dragons and Warhammer going on, um, there's passion there, definitely. Um, finally, community. Um, we realise at H and Boys School that we are lucky, we're privileged to study and work in a great school and to have the support of the, the government in terms of um, paying the fees because they, they support us, uh, it's a free education. Um, but we do recognise that we're in a privileged position. So we want to make sure that we don't forget about those less fortunate around the world. Uh, we always have uh, house charities and a, and a school charity as well. We always take part in either sport relief or comic relief each year. And this year, just gone, we did significant fundraising for uh, those in Ukraine. And we've taken some Ukrainian refugees into the school as well to, to help and, and also educate children about um, the wider international picture and, and how fortunate we are in, in Hitchin at this school. Uh, we also look at uh, wider events and cultural events and uh, make sure that we respect things like uh, Remembrance Sunday and Black History Month and Holocaust Memorial Day. So we use these to also talk about uh, wider cultural uh, enrichment. And each day we uh, celebrate Founders Day as well. It is a big gala event. Uh, the girls get very dressed up in uh, their their gowns and uh, and full makeup, and the boys turn up in their uniforms and look a bit confused as to what's going on. But it's a it's a really fun day. Um, I mentioned a little bit about uh, what happens beyond school. I know that seems like so far away, but it's going to happen one day, and you know either five years or seven years. Um, most of our students do tend to go to university after they leave sixth form. Uh, so over a hundred of our students this summer went to. Uh, different universities studying different, uh, all sorts of different courses from engineering to sport to arts, science, humanities. Um, the destinations board is just over there for the, the most recent year 13 leavers. So yeah, feel free to see the sort of places they've gone to. But I think the most popular university this year is Manchester, quickly followed by Nottingham. And that tends to be where Hitchin boys tend to go. Um, however, it's not limited to just universities. Uh, we do support students through to college. Uh, uh, well, that's North Hearts College or, or Oaklands College locally, uh, but also apprenticeships. We've had nine students this year do degree apprenticeships uh, or employment. Uh, and our head boy last year went to flight school, so he's going to be a commercial airline pilot. We've even had students this year set up their own music business. We've had students go to football academies. We've had students go to sports scholarships in America. So we will find the right thing for, for your, your son or daughter. Um, it's, it's the 80% of students that stay with us in year 11. Uh, but there are those that will go to college um, after year 11 that we also support to help find their pathway as well. Um, so I've tried to think about the sort of questions that we typically get asked. So year five and six, hopefully these are sort of questions that you're thinking about. Um, firstly, will I make friends? That's probably the number one question, right? Um, and absolutely, I can guarantee that that will be the case. Uh, you'll have a group of 26 to 27 students in your form group. Uh, you're going to have over 200 in your year group. Uh, and we do have a mix of students from 40 different primary schools typically. So we do make sure that we mix them up in form groups so that it's not just uh, you know, those that stay together with uh, primaries that send us lots of students. So we do mix up them to make sure that you know someone in your form group, but also you get to meet some new people too. Uh, one of the best ways to make friends is to join these clubs and teams and activities that I mentioned earlier. Uh, will I be happy? Yeah, I hope so. Um, we provide you all the opportunities and support that you need, uh, but we try to balance learning and life. You know, we, we love all the other things as well as, uh, as school learning. So I think uh, uh, Ferry, our head boy, will tell you about the adequate amount of homework that we give later. So uh, that's to put that in perspective. Um, will I be safe? Yes, maybe dispelling some of the myths about all boys schools. Uh, it is a safe environment. We've got very low levels of, of bullying and, and we deal with uh, them quickly and uh, misbehavior is dealt with very uh, robustly. Um, and the officer report tells you a little bit more about that. Um, we want you to be successful. Yes, you'll be successful in whatever you want to do. We'll find that path, we'll find that talent, we'll find that thing that interests you and that you're passionate about, uh, and we'll support you to do that. And then as you go up through school, you have more choices over what you study. Uh, so in, in year seven, you'll study 12 or 13 subjects, and, but as you go up to school, that will get increasingly fewer, but they'll be your choices. And when you get to sixth form, you'll be able to choose your A-levels or B-techs from over 30 different uh, subjects that we offer. So I think we're the best possible school for boys in this area. Uh, and it's down to opportunity, challenge, excellence, community, competition, and fun. But don't just hear that from me. So we've got uh, some 
testimony from some of our students that will tell you a little bit more about their experience at, at Chichen Boys School. So first, introduce you to our head boy, Farah, that uh, will speak to you. Thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. My name is Fermi Olusanya, and I'm the head boy at Hitchin Boys School. So when I was told about open evening, I immediately thought back to 2015 when I had my open evening, and I thought about some of the concerns I would have had when I was a primary school student, that some of you here. Some of these were like, what sports am I going to play? Um, how much homework is there? Will I be able to keep up? And more importantly, how far away is Hitchin Girls School? Um, in terms of sport, I can almost guarantee that there will be a sport for you, from basketball to dodgeball, from rugby to trampolining and football, which has been permanently included into our school now. However, we don't only offer sporting opportunities, we also do music competitions, math challenges, and more recently I was able to uh, enter the Martin Luther King Autorical Fest, which was quite like, important to me, so yeah, I'm quite proud of that. Um, in terms of homework, we, like Sir said, we get an adequate amount of homework and essentially helps ease you into it, so like when you're in year 12 and 13 and 11, and you're studying at home, you're kind of already used to that kind of cycle. Looking at some of your faces now, it's okay. There's still time for Fortnite and FIFA and everything like that. But one of my more important concerns was, will there be people that look like me and will I be able to fit in? And ever since I started boys school, each year it's got more and more diverse and we've introduced more wonderful cultures. So it's a thing where we go to school now and I'm just comfortable and it's like, essentially it's just a family when I go to school every time. And that's probably my most favorite thing about boys school. Um, when I was in primary school, like you, I went to William Ransom. Uh, I was always told that um, you were a big fish in a small pond and now you're a small fish in a big pond. Although at the time I didn't fully understand the analogy, but after five years of English with Mrs. Tanner and Mrs. Waller, I definitely understand the analogy now. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, enjoy your time at Hitchin Boys. It goes quick, and then eventually you'll be the big fish on stage talking to all the small, anxious little fish here. Thank you for listening. Okay, so you've heard from the big fish, you'll hear from the little fish a little bit later. Um, I just want to touch very briefly on something that I think is quite important in terms of thinking about your choice of secondary school. And that's what we do around transition, you know, uh, moving up from primary school. Um, far too much to tell you in any detail, but uh, we really just want to emphasize that uh, it is something that we take very seriously and we make lots of revision uh, for easing students into that. So obviously we have our uh, visit days in, in July where uh, transfer day where you come and experience that. But sometimes we do things a little bit more bespoke. So if you've come from a primary school where it's just you by yourself, we've got a special day for that and we'll bring you in uh, separately to make sure that you make friends uh, and, and see around the school you know, before it gets really busy. Uh, we do things if you've got um, special educational needs, for instance, we'll have a one-to-one -one, uh, meeting and a, and a tour around with, uh, with our Senko who looks after uh, SEN students. Uh, one thing we've done for the last couple of years is run a uh, summer camp, a kind of holiday camp during the summer that's run by our sports centre. And again, that's another uh, way during, during a week to sort of get to know more year six students that are coming up to Hitchin Boys School. So um, we do recognise that uh, getting the blend right and getting students into form groups and making that work is a little bit of, a, of an art rather than a science and it's something that we tried to get. We, we put a lot of thought into that and we will visit every primary school, either in person or, or virtually, to make sure that we've spoken with all the year six teachers and we've got the handover and we've listened to, uh, to the students as well about how to ease them into uh, Hitchin Boys School. Um, some of the activities around transition are on the board there. There's, there's far too many to talk about, but um, interesting things are the activities day that happens in the first month here. So yes, laser tag, archery, climbing wall, good things like that to try and get a little bit of uh, bonding going. Uh, House Bake Off, uh, Lead of Extraordinary Gentlemen is some of house com or competition that we run throughout uh, Key Stage 3. Um, and I've yet to see this, but I hope it's going to happen this year, the legendary Hitchin Boys, Hitchin Girls uh, Year 7 Disco. Because as Fran mentioned, Hitchin Girls School isn't too far away. Um, we've got Will Lake's trip as well during Year 7 that again is, is focused around that kind of team building and getting to know each other. Okay. It's time for the little fish. Um, so we've got two year eight students to tell you a little bit more about their experiences of being in year seven. So Zach and Max will talk to you briefly about different aspects. So Zach will talk a bit more about this or academic side and Max will talk a little bit more about the sports side and the club side. So we'll start with Zach. Good 
good evening. This evening I'm saying a few words about the academics and creative arts at the school. So first off, in our lessons we have a different teacher for each subject, of which there are around 12, though as you go up the years you drop and accumulate subjects. The subjects include all the core subjects like maths and English, and also others like PSC and religious studies. During lessons you can expect to experience a large amount of practicals in science and DT, and fun projects and activities in other subjects. The school encourages lots of assessments, most of which are just for students and parents to see how well you're doing, and also to give you a fairly accurate assessment of how well you might do at GCSE, and for those who stay on for our sixth form A-levels. You can be selected for high performance groups, or HPGs, if these grades are particularly good. However, there are some that you can join without invitation, for example, English HPG. In these groups, you would occasionally go to a room at lunchtime and take part in extra challenges and look at more advanced topics. There are a huge range of clubs that you can join, like Warhammer, Lego, Dungeons and Dragons, Photography, Film Club, and lots more. Clubs can take place at almost any time of the day, typically with music clubs like choir, brass, and string in the mornings before school or at lunch times, and other clubs being mainly after school. In terms of separate musical tutorship, the school offers lessons taught by paid tutors that you can be booked into to go to at any time of the day. For the creative arts, rather than a club, there's the school production. This year it's Young Frankenstein and I'm playing the illustrious Virgin number no. 2 with a grand total of two lines. <laughs> During break time and lunch time, students can go to the library, run around on the playground that's reserved for their year or the fields. Now my favourite part of the school is almost definitely the library. There are two librarians, Miss Bohr and Miss Rushton, who have a group of students that help out and occasionally in exchange for some badges. So far I've found that badges make everything look enticing. As well as that group, the library champions, there's a book club taking place on Friday lunch times where students eat, chat and read. The library gets new books all the time, as well as some audio books that can be accessed via the library app, Access It, where students can also borrow books online. So finally, settling in at school. When the first day came, I think everyone in my class was terrified, but by the end of the day, we all felt like we'd been here for years. Also, if anyone's worried about the size of the school and not being able to remember the layout, by the first week we knew it off by heart. Thank you for listening and have a good evening. Hi, I'm Max Bond in Year 8 and I'm not such a little fish. <laughs> Today, I'm going to talk you through the opportunities that being at Hitchin Boys School will bring your son. First, I'll walk you through my first experience at HPS, and the advice I got, the advice I will give your son, that is to try, go to as many clubs as you possibly can. I'm sure your son will have a hidden talent, whether that is in the sporting side of Hitchin Boys School or the academic. There's a club for your son. In the first year of school, you will explore core subjects, English, maths, and science, but we'll also explore new subjects that are entirely new to you, like design and technology or food tech. My first year at boys' school was amazing, from getting into hockey A team and finding out that I got top sets in all my subjects. I had an amazing year. There are many clubs at Hitchin Boys' School, including hockey, rugby in the winter, and cricket, athletics, and tennis in the summer. Even a high performance group for the best select few in every subject. However, there aren't just sporting clubs, there are also academic or just fun clubs like board games club, book club and in the library. And even for the first time, a football club and team has been made and run by Mr. O'Neill. Your son will be placed in one of eight different houses, in eight forms and four different houses, including Radcliffe, Pearson, Matic and Skinner. Ew. In a form of about 30 other kids, that's 30 possible new friends and 25 kids in one PE set, 30 more kids in each tech rotation. That's a massive number of possible things. You're sure to fit in with some of them. Now, I know this is what you've been waiting for. Let's talk PE. The first time can take rugby, basketball, indoor athletics, and access to the boys' school's new gym. In the second term, there's hockey, basketball, and badminton, gymnastics, and in the last term, you do tennis, cricket, and athletics. There is something for everyone. At the start of each term, their PE groups will be resorted to the ability of the, the, that term sports. And if you've never done rugby in your life, but are amazing at hockey, you'll be moved up into the correct set. These groups will always change. Thank you.
Okay, nearly there. So last question is, how do I come here? Hopefully we've done a decent enough sales job. You can see confidence is something that we don't have a short supply of in, in students. So um, it, it's really quite simple. Uh, the admissions are, are all managed by Harpshire County Council. So uh, it's through uh, the normal Harpshire process. Uh, so the Harpshire website is the place to go for more information. Um, 31st of October is the deadline to be able to put your application in. Um, the question I'm always and probably guaranteed to be asked at the end of this presentation too is will I get in? And the answer is I don't know um, because every year it does change in terms of where the catchment uh, extends out to and the number of siblings that we have, etc. We can't predict that. But what I would say is the way to maximize your chances are firstly, put as first preference um, in that uh, yeah, around 90% of first preference applicants got their place in Harvester last year. So that's a good way to do that. And the second is also live close. Um, it, we tend to be, uh, Hitchin and the surrounding villages tend to fill the, the 210 spaces that we have. So uh, I know there may be some who've come from a little bit further afield and I have to be realistic and say that uh, living close is one of the other uh, important facets of, of uh, will I get in question. Um, so that is it. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed the tour. I hope that you've enjoyed this talk and, and hearing from the students. Um, I will be around at the end and other members of the senior team will be around at the end if you've got any questions. But other than that, uh, please join us uh, in Striving for Excellence and thank you for your time and attention this evening.